Chaucer began to write Canterbury Tales in 1387. How many women characters are there in the prologue? Three. Wife, prioress, nun. The line, he was as fresh as the month of May in the Canterbury Tales refers to Dash. The Squire The Scottish poet who wrote a poem mourning the death of Chaucer is Dash. Thomas Hockleaf in The Governail of Princess Who described Chaucer as the well of English undefiled? Spencer To whom is Chaucer indebted for the general plan of Canterbury Tales? Boccaccio Which meter did Chaucer predominantly use in the Canterbury Tales? Iambic pentameter The pestilence that ravaged the country during the time of Chaucer is dash. Black Death or Bubonic Plague 1348 to 49 It reappeared in 1362 67 and 70 The name Chaucer is derived from the French word dash Chaucer meaning a maker of footwear Blanche John of Gaunt's wife died of plague in 1369 For his work, The Book of the Duchess, Chaucer is indebted to Dash. Ovid Name the major political event that took place in Chaucer's time. Peasant's Revolt 1381 Which is the dream vision poem written by Chaucer for St. Valentine's Day? The Parliament of Fowls A French prose work on travel translated to English during the time of Chaucer is Dash. Travels of Sir John Mandeville. The contemporary of Chaucer, whose followers were called Lollards and who is regarded as the most original and powerful prose writer of the time is Dash. He helped to bring the dark ages to an end in England and despite Serious opposition from the Catholic Church, he fought tirelessly and fearlessly for the right to translate the Bible into the vulgar tongue. Answer is John Wycliffe. Here, the vulgar tongue is a reference to the English language. The followers of John Wycliffe were known as Dash Lollards Who first translated the Bible into English John Wycliffe in 1381 The first book printed by William Caxton is Dash The History of Troy in 1474 John Gower's English poem which is considered an encyclopedia of the art of love is Confessio Amantis. The vision of William concerning Piers the Plowman is the extant poem of Dash. William Langland. The Wars of the Roses took place during 1455 to 85. The war which paved way for the enlightened and powerful Tudor rule in England is Wars of the Roses. It is the first book in English in poetic prose, the 15th century work printed by Caxton that is referred to here is Morte di Arthur. Chesterton called the prologue to the Canterbury Tales the prologue to modern fiction because of its dash 
narrative unity who is called the morning star of reformation john wycliffe the french work by john goveris dash speculum meditandis name the italian work by john gover vox clamantis The Wars of the Roses was fought between Dash, the House of York and the House of Lancaster. Wycliffe's Bible is a translation from Latin. What was the first vision seen by Langland in the vision of Piers the Plowman? The vision of a field full of folk. John Gower was called Moral Gover for his dash propensity for didacticism Name the greatest satirist of the 14th century who followed Juvenal William Langland The first satirical composition in English language is dash The vision of William concerning Piers the Plowman The voyages and travels of Sir John Mandeville appeared in 1356. Gower refers to Chaucer towards the end of his work dash Confessio Amandus. Gower deals with Wat Tyler's rebellion in dash Vox Clamantis. Who is the father of Scottish poetry? John Barber. The contemporary of Chaucer, who is represented as the chorus in Shakespeare's Pericles is Gower. Tennyson's Id Idols of King was inspired by Dash. Le Morte di Arthur by Thomas Mallory. The first book of Wallace's letters in English prose is Dash. Voyages and Travels of Sir John Mandeville. Chaucer's reference to stormy people in Clerk's Tale is about Dash. Peasants revolt. The character created by Chaucer who has a love for gold is Dash. The Doctor of Physic The well of English undefiled denotes Chaucer's dash development of a native style William Blake said they are the physiognomies and lineaments of universal human life beyond which nature never steps who are they Chaucer's characters Here is God's plenty who said this Dryden about Chaucer's general prologue to the Canterbury Tales Friosart a literary personality of Italy was the contemporary of Dash Chaucer John Ball and Wat Tyler were the leaders of Dash. Peasant's Revolt of 1381. Langland's poem Piers the Plowman was divided principally into two parts namely Visio and Vita. William Caxton put up the first press in England. at Westminster in Dash 1476